He's got like 40 horsepower and stickers. And then he's losing about 30 with that Terracure one right there. <laughs> guys, look at this beauty. You guys look, I feel like I'm like on a gimbal right now. Probably making people feel sick at home. We're here with Nick Gardner. Six, 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 one, nine, free runner, free runner flipper over here. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so epic. I mean, it looks so dang clean. Try and build it with a, you know, a good attention to detail, keep everything clean and not overdone. Well, definitely, man. I mean, we could even just kind of hop into this thing and you could kind of let us know what you have going on it. Yeah, we can start on the front. The the whole truck was pretty much built by Dirt King Fabrication in San Diego. Okay. Uh, it's got their 3.5 long travel kit on it, so it's uh, boxed upper, box lower. Uh, it's got the Camberg fabricated spindles. It's their race kit, right? Uh, they don't make a race kit for these, it's just their bolt-on long travel kit, oh, okay. so it utilizes the factory upper and lower pivots. Oh, okay, so it's right there on the factory. Yeah, so it right? bolts into the factory location, but they do a double shear kit, so this basically welds onto the frame here and makes the upper control arm double shear. Oh, so it's nice. not just grabbing the bolt on the inside, it grabs it on the outside as well, and that's done on the front and the rear pivot. Okay. Uh, this is their uh, bolt-in bypass hoop as well, so that locates off the factory coil bucket on the top no and then, way yeah it comes with the mount to weld it onto the frame and then a reinforcement tube that goes behind the bypass right here you're basically saying this top part is factory bolts onto this yep comes across this is all one piece so they build this as one piece when you okay. when you buy it okay. yep and then it comes with this tube that you weld onto the frame super and then easy weld everything together so it locates it really easy and then that mounts to their uh, spec bypass. So both the coilover and the bypass are built to the Dirt King spec for this long travel kit in this truck. Really? So these are 8 inch? Uh, 8 inch, yeah. Eight yeah, 2.5 by 8 and then it's got a 2.2 by 2 I bump stop. I want to get some pine cones. Okay. Oh. Where you want? Hey, you don't want to help host? <laughs> Come on, ask dad questions. <laughs> Dang it. Next time. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, again, this is so incredibly clean. All This whole setup I mean, not not only is it a clean setup, it's actually physically clean. Like, look at this. This is actually <laughs> yeah. <laughs> believe, believe it or not, it has been to the desert. I've oh been yeah, like dude. A dozen trips with it, and yeah, and man, you're always really out there. Upwards. Yeah, every weekend we try and hit the desert, so put Heck as many yeah. miles on it as we can. How much travels uh, in this thing in uh, the front? Fifteen inches in the front. Fifteen. Okay, yep. solid. I don't know if we went over. It's got the uh, bump stop in the middle as well, striking off the lower arm. Okay. And then I also got the. Uh, if you want to go around to the front here. Yeah. These are the Poly Performance, the taco tabs. So the problem with the Tacomas is the alignment is on the lower control arm. Oh, so okay. whenever you take it to the dirt, it's almost always goes out of alignment. So what this does is it locks the alignment into place. It has no more adjustment. And then it has a heimed upper control arm so that you can you can fine tune the alignment and still adjust it. And then you were saying these are box lower? Yeah, it's a boxed upper, box lower. And then Very it's cool. got the Camberg uh, four inch uh, fabricated spindles on it as well. Does Dirt King sell their own spindle or is this they decided uh, they don't. to? don't. They make a spindle gusset kit for the factory spindle, but I wanted the lift spindle as well okay. uh, to get a little bit of height out of it too. So I ran the, the Camberg spindle. And then you're running the uh, stock hubs on this guy? Yeah, it's got the stock hubs on it and then okay. a TRD big brake kit. So it's a six piston caliper and then 14 inch rotor. These are 30... Uh, 35. 35s. 35s. Yep. Dude, they look big. Yeah. They look big. Yeah, it's a 35 inch uh, open country Toyo uh, RT and then 17 inch method 701s the trail series these oh my god I, I could see Garrett being stoked on these oh I am and I and I was yeah <laughs> I don't know why gonna... this screams Garrett it's like like this is like if, if hardcore kids had yeah, a, I love the wheel. had a rim this you know, would be the rim 
it's yep. clean. Well, like these are it. cool because these have the these are the self yeah, the it's got bead the, it's technology. Yeah, it's got the bead grip technology. Yeah. You look at the inside lip of the wheel; it has grooves on there so that it holds the bead of the tire from popping off. Okay. So that you can still air them down without having to worry about deep beating a tire. So it's actually on the inside. Yeah, yeah, um, so yeah. It works really well. It's not just a gimmick; it does work. Like even mounting them and dismounting them, it's definitely. You know, a lot harder to mount and dismount and break the bead than it is a standard wheel. Yeah, man, that's cool. I like how it's like, uh, it's a perfect option for like doing the in between, right? So, so you know, it's super easy to clean. You don't got to worry about the bead lock bolts on there. It makes it really nice. Some people just don't like the bead lock look. Look, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know. I should know, but I didn't know Method made that. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. That's yeah. like perfect for like the daily like, driver. I, yep. I think they just really. <laughs> Arshia, yeah. I'm like, okay, well. Our shoe is drooling over here too. Yeah, that's, dude, this, I, I love this, man. I mean, again, like the finish of it. Did they powder coat this? Uh, yeah, that's directly as it comes from Method. It comes in that satin black finish. It's got a low profile cap on there. So it's just a really clean, simple looking wheel. What's the width on this guy? Uh, it is 86 inches, tire to tire. Well, it looks super aggressive from the front, man. Looks bitching. Yeah, it looks King pissed off. The, Dirt King built the bumper for it too. Oh, okay. Um, it's a full bolt on bumper. Uh, they built the skid plate for it and it bolts into all the factory look. Ooh, look how bougie this is, man. <laughs> yeah, I just had the skid plate polished and then all the nice. engines on the lung travel kit polished as well. Or she, Dang. Are, trying to keep you it can hang out in your makeup down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how happy are you like, with I that? I can like check my lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> so is this like a, a bumper that they offered to be... No, um, this is a one-off bumper. One-off? Yeah, oh, one-off. Yeah. Big. Yep, it was oh. built specifically for the truck. I kind of let them do the designing and I told them... I didn't even tell them the basic idea what I wanted. I just told them build me a bumper and... And, and they came, they came up, up with this with guy. They absolutely killed it. Yeah, I love this bumper design. You don't see it on anything. No, oh, man. I mean, it really had unique. a lot of detail in yeah. here. It is yeah. awesome. I mean, even looking at it too, like this isn't just one tube. This is like three different tubes. So it goes up to here and then that's another one and then another one. So it's oh, a lot of blending okay. that goes together in it to make it look like a seamless bumper. And then I love how like the bumper has this. Yeah, it's got a little pusher on it. And then the KC Pro 6 on the front as well. Those are super bright. And then glass, what's up with this guy? Uh, fiberglass is the Fiberworks uh, six inch glass front and rear. Body lines look super great, man. Yeah, it lined up really good. Everything fit really nice. The headlight gaps, uh, the door gaps, everything fit really good on the glass. There was no even body work done to it. We, you know, fit it on there, but we didn't have to, you know, really modify anything. It's a great, great yeah. company to get glass. From. Just ready, just ready to go. Because that's always kind of an issue. You know, you throw glass on there and then something doesn't oh, yeah. line up. I mean, the nightmares. Yeah, you can yeah. get it to line up at the door and it doesn't line up the hood or vice right. versa. You know, I got right. the, yeah, I think. What motor's in this guy? Uh, it's the 4.0. Okay. Um, it's pretty much stock. It's got exhaust on it, and that's it. That's about Trying it. To huh? Keep it reliable. Yeah, you know, eventually may supercharge it, but no, dude, that's great. And then again, you know, just it being Toyota, yeah. you're not going to really run into any issues yeah, you out can't there. Go wrong. It's about as reliable as they come. Cool, man. Let's go through the rear, bro. First of all, it's freaking awesome that you have the tailgate on this thing. Yeah. So I kept a full bed in it. You know, as much as you can. It's a five foot bed, so it's pretty short. So yeah, there's not a lot of room to begin with, but it's got the the Dirt King. Um, bed cage as well so that's their bolt-in bed cage it bolts into all the factory locations okay. um, on all four pivots and then it mounts a, a 3.0 by 16 bypass then you got this guy sticker yeah <laughs> 10 horsepower got yeah 10 horsepower yep. <laughs> he's got like 40 horsepower in stickers yeah, dude. and then he's losing about 30 with that character one right there. <laughs> just kidding guys our stickers don't make you lose horsepower but yeah they might make your foot a little heavier This is a Dirt King yep. bolt-in. Yeah, Dirt King bolt-in bed cage as well. Great. Um, I had the bed line x and the top of the bed rails by Dallas at line x San Diego. Okay. He did inside the bed, underneath the bed. Oh, inside nice. Inside the glass. Why do you guys do so much line x, like the everywhere? The and the protection. This Toyota has a composite bed in it, so it's all fiberglass and plastic. 
So the line X makes it a lot stronger and protects it as well. Okay. Plus, you know, putting the cooler in, getting stuff out of the back, it pro protects the top of the bed rails. So you don't got to worry about scratching them. I originally had them painted when I had the truck, uh, the bedsides painted and the fiberglass. And they were already getting scratched after only a couple trips to the desert. So I had them do the Linux on the top just for protection. Right, right. And then you got the kids. And I, yeah, I mean, exactly. being, being, a, being, a, being a parent time. with the kids, harsh, yeah. yeah. It's the instant jungle gym back there. Yeah. Yep. So you even do the under part of the... Yeah, so the inside of the bed's done underneath the bed and then inside the... Oh, yeah. As well. So you're saying that so it becomes... 360. Yeah, it makes the, the fiberglass yeah, a lot they... more rigid too. And the clean, the, the, the cleanliness, right? Yeah, it just right? looks a lot better. Nice, man. Yeah. I'm sure like the worst thing in the world is getting mud in your fiberglass oh, yeah. fenders. Pressure washer with the, out. With the but with this... You just use yeah. the pressure washer and it just sheets right off. You never even knew it was there. Dude, that's it awesome. It like it does the bare exposed fiberglass. That's why I freaking hate mud. Yeah, it's the worst. Without, it's without the worst. that, I mean, yeah. no hate. I mean, we love like off-roading and yeah, mud is it's... freaking amazing. But cleaning like yeah, a pre-runner, worst. You could spend five or six hours and then still find mud a month later. Facts, dude. Facts. And from what I know, Nick is very anal about yeah. cleanliness. You oh, really? I wouldn't. I wouldn't have guessed, man. Detail, this is uh... a <laughs> little detail bucket sitting over there in the corner. No, it, it's in that thing 24/7. You spend a lot of money on it, and you want to keep it clean and make it last. Hell yeah, man! That's the only thing I ever clean up. So you're running the Devers again? Yeah, it's got the Deaver, the H70 HD Leaf Pack. It's the Dirt King Spring Under Kit. Uh, so it comes with their fabricated front hanger, uh, the rear hanger, and then the rear shackle as well. Okay. Um, and then Dirt King notched the frame, uh, integrated the bump stop into the into the notch as well. Oh, so they notched it, so you got that, that extra Yeah, more bump no travel. You know, that's the, yeah, the that bad thing about the Tacomas is, you know, it's hard to get a lot of bump travel out of them, but they were able to get an extra two inches for a total of 19 inches of travel in the rear. That's a big get. deal. 19 yeah, inches on a, a on a leaf spring truck right there. And then you're running, these are 3.0s? Yeah, 3.0 by 16 uh, King 4-tube bypass. Nice, man. That is so nice. So I can only imagine this ride must be killer, dude. Yeah, I mean, does, especially for a leaf spring really truck. Good. Yeah, for a leaf spring truck, it, it really does well. This was <laughs> the first spring under kit that Dirt King had done for the Tacomas. This is actually the truck they prototyped all their parts on. Oh, nice. Um, so they actually built the parts as they went, and it came out great. So when you say spring under, you want to explain that to everybody yeah, out there? Yeah, so factory, the Tacomas, the spring goes on top of the axle housing. The leaf spring, right. And yeah. now the axle housing is on top of the leaf spring. Basically, you do that so you can get a heavier arch out of the leaf spring. Okay. And you can gain, you know, the extra travel and bump travel that you need without gaining a lot of height. Because on a spring over truck, the leaf spring is pretty much already flat. So right. by the time you get, it's fully bumped out, the spring is already de-arced and you're losing all your spring rate. Right. So now you run a spring with a really heavy arc to it, run the axle on top so it still has a decent ride height out of it, and you get the best of both worlds. You get a lot of bump travel and still get, you know, a low slung truck so you're not raising the center of gravity too high. I think we need, like, Nick to help us go over some trucks. <laughs> he is so awesome. Like, I'm just like, all right, Arshia, how good is this, huh? Yeah. Explaining all this detail. This is great, man. I got the Missoula, the Missoula yeah. bumper on the rear. So this is available? Yeah, that's, you can buy it directly through Missoula. Uh, Chris, some of the, shout, shout out to Chris Missoula, yeah, man. Some Old of the school, dude. Glass, it wraps Kick ass. all the way around. Um, so he includes these bumper caps on there. So you can run either just the center section if your glass wraps all the way around. Um, and like the EDV glass does, the fiber works has the cutout for the factory bumper. So Chris includes these uh, bumper caps to run on there to fill that void. It looks really good. It's kind of a unique bumper. You don't see it on a lot. And, and then this support right here for the for the yeah. So Dirt Spring King did a two inch tube from frame rail to frame rail, and then integrated this into the hanger just to prevent the flex since the hanger is so long. Right. Um, it could really flex. So they do this and integrate everything and tie it all together so that they don't have to worry about that. That's killer, man. That is killer. Yeah. And then you're running the stock rear end? Uh, it's got the stock rear end in it now. Yeah, I've that's didn't cool. really do much to the rear end. I haven't geared it or anything yet. I have yeah. plans to put a fabricated rear end in it, so I don't want to dump a ton of money into this one. And then well, again, I've heard these things. It, so. I heard these things uh, last forever. Yeah, this has got the you know? the e locker in it, so it's got what it is essentially like a spool. Right. Um, so it does actually really good. I mean, I've gone to the sand and to the dunes with it and I had zero issues with it and they're really strong, so. So any other future plans for this thing? I think cage it would probably be my next my next thing and then supercharge it would be down the road from there. Right I on. I just finished the truck like in February, so right just now enjoying I'm just trying it. to enjoy it and yeah. get some use out of it and have fun with it. Like I said, the family and I have probably taken it out at least three weeks out of the month since I've finished it. We just went to the desert in it last weekend, put like 250 miles on it. Oh shoot. Last, yeah. So Dirt King uh, 
builds a frame box kit for these okay. um, that boxes the frame from the cab back because the Toyota normally has just a C-channel frame. So oh. they build a plate that you weld into it and then it makes it a full boxed frame just to strengthen it because that's really one of the weak points on these trucks. Right, I didn't know that. I yeah. thought Toyota was a box frame. No. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a C-channel frame. So yeah, they make a frame box kit for it. And everything that Dirt King makes is all designed in CAD. So. 99% of their parts are all bolt-ons. So really your guy at home that wants to build a truck like this could do it in his driveway. That's um, insane. So that makes it really nice. They're... They can design it on the computer, cycle all the suspension, and then convert it all to real life, cycle it again, make sure everything works, and they can literally bolt it onto the truck without even, you know, make it bolt onto the truck without even having a truck there. So it's it's pretty nice, the technology that they have. That's awesome. Designing suspension systems. Yeah. I hope all this knowledge is just feeding into your brains right now, guys. Nick works with our good friend, Eric, SoCal Suspension. I mean, if you guys have questions about this stuff, yeah, head on over to SoCal Suspension, hit him up. Um, he could kind of point you guys in the right direction. Sorry if you kind of get flooded oh, with no like problem. DMs we're, and we're calls. We're a Dirt King dealer too. We do Dirt King, Camberg, so you got to check out the DRPs. Oh yeah, let's check the, this out. Uh, the custom sliders. Yeah, so I use the Solo Motorsports seat brackets. So this okay. is the factory slider here, and then Solo Motorsports makes a seat bracket that bolts onto the factory slider and then you can bolt any PRP seat into that. So what? It's still, yeah, it still slides back and forth. Keeps it you, smells great in there. It keeps you safe. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's She's like, forget about that, but it smells good. <laughs> no, that is awesome. Yeah, I love awesome. the PRPs, the original seats, you kind of slide back and forth in. The PRPs really keep you planted in there. Yeah. It still uses the original seat belt as well, so that's nice. You don't have to use harnesses. And then what, what seats are these? Which uh, ones? Those are the PRP Premiers. Premiers, yeah. okay. Nice, and you're pretty comfortable, huh? Yeah, they're super comfortable. I used to run the premieres in uh, in my truck yeah, before. Yeah, I love them. Absolutely love yeah, them, dude. Yeah, they're super comfortable. Yeah. Even like on, we've done five or six hour trips with them and they don't hurt your back. No, they don't. They're super comfortable. We would go pre-run in Mexico in my truck before and um, I absolutely love yeah, the seat, like, dude. It, it like hugs you, Yeah, keeps there's you days where you're literally spend 10 or 12 hours in your truck and they're super comfortable, I love them. Pre-running, chasing, yeah, out yeah. there, all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, you gotta have a comfy seat, that goes a long way. Thank you so much for uh, giving us a tour of this yeah, bad boy. Guys. It is freaking epic. We don't get to feature a lot of Tacomas, um, and we're so stoked that we got to feature this one. As you can see, the truck is progressing right now. It's on its way. But the cool thing is it's a leaf sprung truck. It's not caged yet. We do recommend everybody gets cages, especially if they're gonna go hard out there, but they're stepping stones. It's always stepping stones. Not everybody has that money and that commitment to go yet, you know? So if you guys are out there, you guys going hard, you don't have a cage, Drive put it, it to its capability. Yeah. Drive it to its capability. Be safe. Have fun. All right, dudes. Take it easy. If you guys like what you see today, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. It helps us grow the channel. Um, I'm sure we got some new gear out there. I'm sure of it. And yeah, check that out too. Thank you guys. Take care.